The idea of dialogue between people of different religions, I think, is undoubtedly very important. And the Hizmet movement is definitely at the core of that dialogue between Muslims and people in the United States, from my own personal experience. My name is Bob Hullinghorst. I'm the Boulder County Treasurer. The Boulder County is where the University of Colorado is headquartered, and we also have uh, over 10 of the national research laboratories located in the area, which is probably why so many people come to the area for uh, intellectual research. Uh, Hizmet is a, a name that I learned a little over a year ago when I took a trip uh, with a number of other people to Turkey and uh, we toured Turkey and uh, my acquaintance with the movement at that time uh, with the organization and with the organization in Colorado that is called the Multi Multicultural Mosaic uh, organization uh, has been one of, of really opening my eyes to uh, not only what Turkey represents and offers to the world, but also what the people involved uh, in this movement uh, represent in terms of, of uh, just really, really good people to know and, and to be with. I wished I, could, I had more time to spend with the Multicultural Mosaic Foundation and the Hizmet Movement here in Colorado. I, I believe that they're doing a, a lot of good work here. I'm within six months of retiring, and hopefully when I am retired, I can, I can come to your uh, cooking classes, and uh, I've, I've, I can learn Turkish. Uh, I've, I've tried four times now, and it's not an easy language, uh, but, uh, but it's one I hope to learn uh, because I, I really enjoy the people. And I hope to learn a lot more about the Muslim religion. I don't think I'll be a convert anytime soon, uh, but, uh, but I'd like to learn a lot more. I think there's a lot to learn. In terms of, of what the movement represents worldwide, um, I have to really speak in terms of my own experience. And that experience is in being able to work with and talk with uh, people who are very concerned about people getting to know each other and people understanding and believing in each other. And from what I understand from both the trip to Turkey and the uh, meetings that I've had, uh, that I've attended, uh, and the dinners that I've attended, uh, and the presentations about different world religions that I've attended, I believe that, that the, the movement really represents the kind of understanding of the world that I think we need more of. As I have come to understand it because of, of my travels and my direct experience, uh, there is a very, very strong strain in Islam that focuses on peace. And I think that's why so many Americans, frankly, are drawn to Islam um, and, uh, and find it something that they strongly believe in. But in my own case, uh, I simply have really enjoyed the people that I've met and the dealings that I've had. And I believe that his met is, is strongly represented in those human relationships. I believe that Hizmet 
stands for bringing people together. From the media that we have in the United States, it appears that much of the Muslim uh, fundamental belief that we keep hearing about in our media uh, really is designed to separate people and to create hatred. Frankly, I find that I don't trust our media that much uh, uh, when it comes to speaking about other religions in the world and especially about uh, the Muslim religion. I believe that the Muslim religion stands in large part for uh, very strong strains of peace uh, and that the, the divisive elements both in the United States and in the Middle East are uh, they may be historical, they may be cultural, they may be economic, but um, I don't think that they should be blamed on the Muslim religion as we have seen in our press. The statements that Mr. Gulen made after the 9-11 attack uh, are similar to statements that he has made after other uh, uh, affronts to world peace uh, in the Middle East and elsewhere. I believe that, that they are honest statements of, of his belief the way he represents the Muslim religion. And I think that they are statements that uh, have been very important to many Americans. The idea of dialogue between people of different religions I think is undoubtedly very important. And the Hizmet movement is definitely at the core of that dialogue between Muslims and people in the United States from my own personal experience. We have to have so much agreement between people uh, who have strong religious beliefs when I think it would be so much more productive if we would have dialogues around the kinds of, of needs that we have around the world that I think are really fundamentally uh, behind the, the hostility and the, the wars that we're having. Um, and I, I think that, that by pointing out that there's a strong potential for dialogue, uh, the Hizmet movement has been a very strong factor in helping me understand that we can get beyond just religious differences. I've got to say that, uh, that the experience I've had with the educational part of, of ISMED has been uh, uh, very, very gratifying. As a public official who um, is responsible for bringing in almost a half a billion dollars a year in taxes and most of that going to education, um, when I visited the schools that are associated, uh, uh, well, well that, that may not be associated directly with HIZMET, but that, that we were exposed to in Turkey and the schools that I have visited here in the United States, I find that they, are, uh, they have a very refreshing focus on, on science and technology. Uh, they have students that are excited to learn and, uh, and I have taken educators to these schools to uh, get them exposed and, and uh, get an understanding of what's going on. And, and I think that uh, uh, that has contributed a lot to uh, our community understanding that uh, people from Turkey are trying to, uh, to make a, a real contribution and I think there's a lot we can learn from it. The charitable activities of HIZMET uh, have, have been just very heartwarming to me. Um, I think that it's, uh, in, in my own case, I'm a member of a church and, and we've gone to Mexico and built houses. Uh, we've gone to places devastated by hurricanes and repaired roofs and tried to help people rebuild lives. 
And so I can definitely understand how uh, non-Muslims might react very, very favorably to seeing Muslims uh, participating in those kinds of charitable activities. And so it's been very heartwarming to me. Regarding the trip I took to Turkey, uh, I, in the first place, I went with my wife. Uh, we actually decided that we wanted to see a little bit of Turkey on our own first, and so we went uh, a week in advance and uh, spent a lot of time driving. Uh, Got to tell you that uh, the roads were great. Uh, we spoke no Turkish, and uh, many of the little villages we were in, uh, people spoke no English. But uh, there's a tradition of hospitality that I think has existed in the Middle East for thousands of years. And that tradition of hospitality uh, came through and made us feel very comfortable. And then when we took the trip uh, with the Hizmet group, shall we say that that, that experience that we had on our own of hospitality uh, was multiplied uh, many times over because we were able to actually go and have dinner with people in their homes, uh, have uh, actually stay in uh, uh, with a person in his home once. These were undoubtedly upper middle class people uh, that uh, had been very successful, but uh, they were uh, they were very warm and accepting, and I think that that was very sincere and it made a big impact on both my wife and I. The internal politics of Turkey at the present time um, are very distressing to me. Um, but uh, I'm not getting very good news about what is going on in Turkey. Uh, sometimes uh, I'll uh, go on Zaman today and uh, be able to look at some of the coverage of, of what's going on in Turkey, and it, uh, uh, it pains me a great deal uh, because democracies are prone to make mistakes, and, and people who are running democracies are prone to make mistakes. And, and uh, frankly, I think that uh, the statements by uh, Prime Minister, it's Prime Minister Erdogan, and and the actions that he's taken against his own citizens, I think, have been very unfortunate. Insofar as they're focused on the Hizmet movement, uh, from my own personal experience with people who are involved in the movement, I think that uh, that there are mistakes, and I think that those mistakes are detracting from uh, the valuable role that Turkey can play uh, in the international world, uh, that the role that Turkey was starting to play in uh, peace in the Middle East uh, are being harmed by these activities, uh, and it's harming the Hizmet movement, I'm sure, in Turkey, um, but again, my sources of news about that are very limited. Turkey will will be at peace again soon uh, with itself, uh, that it will regain the kind of self-confidence that, that we saw when we were there on our trip, and that uh, we'll be able to spend a lot of time in Turkey. Uh, I'm about to retire. Uh, I've even looked at, at uh, the possibility of having a part-time home there. It's an absolutely beautiful country. Um, right now, it's in, I think it's in turmoil, um, but I think that it will definitely come through this. I think the emphasis on ecumenical dialogue is quite interesting and quite powerful. I think that the commitment, seeming commitment to nonviolence is quite strong. The most fundamental value that I saw in Hizmet is the idea of service or Hizmet. And I think putting uh, real life expression to the values it's what, is what is most appealing to me and to others. So it's not just about believing something, it's about living it, and it's about walking the talk and putting your principles to action.